Hello friends. Today we are going to install DIR615 in a repeater mode which is also called as an extender. Now in my scenario here I already have R12 D-Link R12 Eagle Pro as my main router uh, which is already configured and uh, the internet is working from that router which is my existing network. Now I want, I want DIR615 uh, to be configured as a repeater and it will be connected wirelessly to your uh, uh, to my uh, R12 router okay so now we are going to install DIR615 in a extender mode so let us start the configuration so first thing is you need to connect your laptop to the D-Link DIR615 on any one of the LAN port if you do not have a LAN port LAN cable uh, then you can connect this laptop wirelessly to the DIR615 router the Wi-Fi name and the password is given at the bottom side of the 615 router so once you connect to it you need to open up a browser and you need to type in 192.168.0.1 once you enter that IP you will get this screen dear customer it's the first time the device is turned on please configure the device in order to use the internet access services so now we are going to install this DIR615 as a repeater or extender. So in the, you need to click on start, select the language as English and click on yes. You can use the advanced settings or continue with the configuration. You can just click on continue here. So now we need to select the method. Now since we are trying to connect DIR615 wirelessly to the R12 router so we need to select Wi-Fi now by default there are these options we have now we need to select the middle one which is repeater or an extender okay so you need to select the repeater option you need to click on next so once you click on next it will ask you to set up the IP address in the range of your main router now by default 615 has 0 0.1 IP series now in my scenario I have D-Link router only but the model is R12 that router also has the same IP address which is 192.168.0.1 so what we need to do is we need to change this IP of DIR615 in the range of my main router which is 0 0.1 so I'm just changing the IP address to 0 0.200 any random IP you can give which is available and the gateway address will be 192.168.0.1 which is my main routers IP address so once you do that you need to click on next now in this screen you will see a option which is called as wireless network so you, you need to click on this wireless network now it will help you to see the network names which are available in your area now i want to connect my r12 so i need to select that router and then that router's name will be able to see in the network ssid and then you need to enter the password so I have my password here so enter the password and then click on next you do not need to change any other settings on this page just need to click on next so once that is done you will be able to see the name your parent name your existing name with an underscore ext that means this dealing routers name will be R12 this name underscore EST so whenever you are scanning for the network name of DR615 you need to identify 615 with this name okay the so password will be same as my main router I'm keeping the same one you can change it if you want but I'm keeping the same one the network name and a password you can change okay but I'm keeping the same one then click on next so now it will ask you to set up the password for the admin that's admin123 I'm just skipping a random one
and then you need to click on next once you click on next you can see the summary and you can also click on save configuration file so once you click on that save configuration file one file will be downloaded on your system on which you can see the details of whatever configuration you have done so your username is this your password is this device address device address means dir615 ip address what you have changed this is the ip address which you have changed the lan ip address as the device ip address subnet mask is this default gateway is this which is my main router's ip and the host name is this now 2.4 settings you can see this is the name for the dir615 which has kept and the password is same okay so it's mode as repeater and client SSID is this one which is the main router's wi-fi name so then you need just click to apply just have to click on okay so once it is applied you just have to wait for some time let the settings save properly once it is saved you will be able to access the configuration page of this dir615 using 192.168.0.200 which has been given You can see the LEDs on the router. The router will turn off and turn it on. So once it is configured, you can see over here using 192.168.0.1 which is my parent router, I am able to access the dealing page. Okay, And you can see in the network status, you can see here the IPv4 connectivity says it is connected and you should be able to access the internet. Now using this 192.168.0.200, you should be able to access the 615 page. able to access 0 0.200 that means you should be able to open that page see r12 page is able to access yes that means it's since internet is connected this is my parent router 
the network status says the internet is working you are receiving the IP address from your parent router okay that means 615 is connected to the R12 router okay yes data communication is happening yes so data communication has happened that means the 615 DIR615 is configured as an extender and it's ready to use now you can scan for the network name the name which is given to the 615 the name you will be able to see over here so this is the name and if you just click on connect you should be able to connect password is t link one two three four the same password which we have given yes t link one two three four so we are keeping the we are trying to connect to the uh, t link one two three four not yes that's one okay so we are trying to connect let's see if it is getting connected yes so once it is connected you should be able to browse here all right this is the internet access this is the extension name la 615 name let us see if you are able to access with the browser could be some firewall issue but if you just see the status of it it's r12 this this is the parent name and this is the ext so i uh, i am able to access the internet through the dir615 which indicates that dir615 is configured as a repeater as an extender Okay, in the next video, we'll see how to configure DIR615 as an access point. Okay, till then, thank you.